Hello everybody, my name is Nefer Sayu, the Righteous Shepherd. Um, today I'm going to talk about wolf dogs, the rabies vaccine, and California law. No, I am not a lawyer, um, but I do my research and I have lived with these animals for a long time and I do try to keep very current with the laws. So, um, yeah, but no, I'm not a lawyer. As a matter of fact, I'm looking for a lawyer, so if you're a lawyer, um, please get a hold of me. I have, I have some things to discuss. Just a little bit of a background. Um, I have been involved with wild wolves and wolf dogs since 1993. Around this time, I met Kawani, a black ambassador wolf of the Sawtooth Pack. Her and her handlers, Pat and Bruce, taught me so much about wolf biology and behavior. Okay. In 1995, my mom brought home our own ambassador dog, and the lessons really began. When I was 12, almost 13, I took on a more active role in our program. And over the course of the next two and a half decades, I familiarized myself with not only the unique diet, training, and behaviors of these animals, but the laws as well. Local ordinances, state laws, federal laws, I kept up to date with them regularly. Okay. One of the most common gray areas of the law regarding these animals has always been the rabies vaccine. Until very recently, where we are, these animals were under the jurisdiction of fish and game, not animal control. However, because our animals were under 49% wolf, fish and game did not require a handler's permit. This sort of stuck us in a gray area, so we made a compromise with animal control back in the day. Our animals stayed on our property. Um, when we were out, they were only on leashes that were under six feet long. They were never to be off leash, they were never to be at large. They, if they were if they were caught out, they would be instantly impounded, destroyed, and we would be charged to the highest extent of the law. I mean, they had some they had some stipulations on us, man, and so that was the compromise. It was like as long as they're on your land, on your property, then that's fine. We won't bother you. Apparently, this is no longer acceptable. Over the past year or so, I have been scrambling to compile evidence of where we stand now. Yesterday, my mate stood in front of a judge who was more concerned with supporting the blue line than upholding truth and law. But without any acknowledgement of our experience and credentials, he slammed our meager testimony and our religion and refused to see critical pieces of evidence that we had to support our claims. No. But I am not here to slam the system in this video. I am just here to share a little bit about our situation and see any, if anyone maybe has a little bit more intimate knowledge of wolf dogs and California laws and rabies vaccination mandate and all of that. As well as to share some facts that we do know about wolf dogs and the laws of California. This judge said, if your animals are 25% wolf, then that means that they are 75% dog and that 75% needs to be vaccinated against rabies. Well, with all due respect, sir, that's not how genetics and biologics work. Again, with all due respect, you are not a scientist, you are not a, a biologist, you are not a behaviorist, you're not a wildlife specialist in any way. You're a judge, and a judge is supposed to honor and uphold the written law such as this. Okay, 17 CCR 2650 states only canine rabies vaccines licensed by USDA and approved by the Department of Health Services can be used in California Rabies Control Program. Regarding wildlife vaccination and hybrids within the same statute, vaccination of non-domestic animals or of wildlife is not routinely recommended since no rabies vaccine is licensed for use in animal species other than dogs, cats, cattle, horses, etc. The effectiveness of rabies vaccination in other species, including domestic wild animal hybrids, is unknown. It says vaccination of the offspring of domestic dogs or cats bred to wild animals, wolf hybrids, and their subsequent generations may afford some rabies protection to the animal. However, since no rabies vaccine is currently licensed for use in wild animals and wild domestic animal hybrids. Complete rabies vaccine challenge and vital shedding studies have not been conducted with these animals. Vaccination of these animals is considered to be an extra label use of a biologic. 
There is no definitive evidence that the vaccine is effective in these animals. This judge all so here's where we're at. Our animals are still considered wolf dogs, and wolf dogs still are advised not to get the vaccination, the rabies vaccination. Uh, so wolf dogs can get the vaccine, but they cannot be registered as dogs under the California Department of Health. They must be registered as a wolf dog or a wolf hybrid or whatever mix that they are. So unless something has changed in September of last year, then as far as I know, in, in our county, there is no vet willing to go off label and there was no way to register a wolf dog with the county. So um, the vets tend to charge up to $70 an animal to establish a relationship so that you can have them sign this exemption form, but the exemption form I don't really have much of a choice in, in any way. A lot of this leads people to lie and call their wolf dog a shepherd or a husky or a shepherd mix or, or whatever have you. And in my eyes, that's just lying to the state. So, so this is what we're doing. We're going to be contacting the local animal services and we're going to ask them these hard questions. We are going to record the phone conversations and we're going to post them here on this channel for other wolf dog owners as a resource. Um, because, yeah, there's just not a lot of resources for us out there and, I mean, we've been out there for a long time. We've been here for a while. I alone have been here longer than the director of animal control has been the director of animal control. So, yeah. <laughs> if you are a wolf dog owner in California, please comment below and let us know how you got, how you dealt with the mandate, with the baby's mandate and everything. Um, did you just lie and say that your wolf dog was just a dog, or did you get the exemption? Perhaps you have vets that are a little bit more willing to work with you in that manner. Let us know how expensive it was, too. And again, if there's any lawyers watching this, please get a hold of me. There's, there's things that we need to talk about. Um, I've got evidence, so. Alright, um, that's it. Thank you for watching. This is Nefersayu representing the monastery. Um, don't let the bastards wear you down.